If you have dry eyes and you're looking for different ways to treat it, then you definitely want to watch this video. There's a way to treat your dry eyes without using eye drops. And that's through what's called the neurostimulation of the trigeminal nerve in your nose. And there are two big players in this field right now. One, the more recent release medication called Tirvaya, it's a nasal spray, and one that's been around for a little bit called the Eye Tier 100. It's an extra nasal stimulator, a mechanical stimulator, and they're about to release their second generation. I've actually had a chance to use both of these for a period of time now, so for this video, I wanted to compare the two, pretty much how you get it, the process of using it, side effects, the cost, and overall, how well do they work? Let's focus in. Hey, howdy, this is Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy, with the channel that keeps your eyes healthy and your vision clear. And just really quick, I wanted to go over how both of these treatments work using neurostimulation. Both of these treatments will stimulate a branch of cranial nerve five, the trigeminal nerve, that will send a signal back to the facial nerve, cranial nerve seven, and that will send a signal out to its branches, mainly around the eye, the lacrimal gland, which is responsible for producing your tears. And what's even better is that it can send a signal to the meibomian glands and goblet cells, which can help all the different layers of your tear film, which is super important for treating dry eyes. Now we actually produce different types of tears. One is called the reflexive tears. Like if you get a foreign body in your eye, your eye will try and flush it out or emotional tears when we cry, but also what's called our basal tears or our baseline tears. And these are the type of tears that you want to improve. They have the good combination of oil and mucus and water that help coat the eyes and keep your eyes from getting dry. And both of these treatments have been shown to improve significantly your baseline tears. Now, as we get into it, if you've ever tried Tirvaya or maybe the eye tier 100, definitely comment if it actually worked for you, if it improved your symptoms. I'm kind of curious to hear how many people are actually having improvement with this type of treatment. Now, how do you actually get your hands on these different types of treatments? Both of them are prescription only. So at least here in America where I practice, both of them need to be prescribed and monitored by your prescribing doctor. Now, since Tirvaya is a medication, you will get the prescription and actually get it from the pharmacy or maybe a sample from your doctor. The eye tier is actually a mechanical device. It needs to be recharged and you can actually purchase it from your doctor or straight from the company, but it still is a prescription. The prescription still needs to be renewed to keep using it. Now, I might as well talk about cost here. Now, with Tirvaya, insurance is involved, but if you were to pay cash price, it could run upwards of $500 a month, maybe more, maybe less. I haven't really seen a concrete price on it, but yeah, it could be in that same ballpark as other dry eye medications, unfortunately. Now, if you have commercial insurance in America, you could possibly get it for as little as zero or $10 copay, which can be nice. So definitely take advantage of that if you have commercial insurance. I'm not sure how long that will last, hopefully forever, but I'm not sure. With the eye tier and the new version coming out, I'll talk about what the prices could be, but it may change when it actually comes out. The initial purchase of the device could be between $200 to $300, depending on where you get it. And then there will be a $30 a month refill to be able to recharge the device to keep using it. Now let's go over actually how you use these for neurostimulation. Now, Tevraya is actually a medication called Varenicline. It's the same medication that was used in Chantex, which was used to help stop smoking, but it's about one third the concentration. And so a lot of the side effects that they had with Chantex doesn't apply with Tirvaya. With Tirvaya, it comes in a nasal spray bottle like this. Now, when you first get the bottle, it does say to prime it about seven times. That means you're just gonna push down and prime it like that's this is a new bottle. Now this treatment is twice a day, about 12 hours apart. So you will do one spray in each nostril, morning and night, 12 hours apart. Now you will wanna read the instructions for this one because it's not like a typical nasal spray where you jam it up the nose, spray it and inhale it. This one's a little bit different. This one, you actually put it in a specific position. And when you put it in your nostril, you're gonna point it like you're pointing it towards the top of your ear. And you're gonna put it just enough inside of your nose to be on the inside, but also don't press the top of the applicator to the wall of the nose because you want it to actually spray and get to the right spot. The few tips that they give you is actually to tilt your head back a little bit, also to put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. And also when you spray it, don't inhale really fast. You actually want it to stay on the side of your nose, the inside of your nose. So I thought I'd demonstrate it for you a little bit. Now I do get a little bit of sneezing. It does make my eyes water, so this should be fun. We'll try it in the left nostril, point it towards my ear and get my tongue on the roof of my mouth and spray. 
There we go. Ooh, hey, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna sneeze on this one. Maybe. Spoke too soon. <laughs> so let me go over the iTier device. This is the iTier 100. It's the demo version that I have here. They're about to come out with a new version that's gonna be a little bit more durable. It's gonna have Bluetooth functionality, an app that goes with it. It's gonna have different intensities. This only has one intensity that vibrates at a certain frequency. The new one will have five different intensities, so you can actually work up to it a little bit. Now the iTier is a little bit more intense, at least for me. I know that sounds weird because Tiervi is actually a nasal spray. You're squirting something up your nose. But this little guy would definitely make my tears run more than Tear Vaya ever did. Maybe I was just a little bit more sensitive to it, but there is a little bit of a learning curve with this one, to knowing exactly where to place it on your nose. But once you get it, at least for me, once I find the right spot, whew, it, it gets me. So the eye tear has a little pad here that vibrates at a certain frequency when you hold the button down and you're actually gonna place it on the outside of your nose. Now, that being said, the eye tier is a extra nasal mechanical neurostimulation device, whereas tier via is a intranasal chemical neurostimulation medication. Now, how you use this one is actually, you're gonna hold the button down. This is gonna vibrate at a certain frequency. You're gonna put it on the outside of your nose, right below the bone of the nose and where the cartilage starts. That's about where your trigeminal nerve is gonna be. Let me just show you a little bit how it's done. Remember, this kind of gets me going. I'll probably sneeze with this one because this one's a little bit more intense for me, but uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the button down. This is gonna vibrate at a certain frequency. And I'm gonna place it right on my nose, and once I find the right spot, <laughs> yeah, right below the nose. Yeah, it gets me every time. More intense for me. I can already feel the water, the tears starting to produce here. Yeah, nose is starting to run, yeah. Well, there we go. Little little beep there. <laughs> okay, we'll stop there. I'm gonna seize. <coughs> so this one, definitely a little bit more intense than Tiervaya, and that's after me actually using this device for a little bit. This is actually better <laughs> than what it was when I first started, because you do kind of get used to it after a while. You start sneezing less, uh, but yeah, still still gets me every time, and definitely gets the the tears going for sure. Now, as far as side effects goes, side effects definitely similar for both treatments. Definitely the biggest one being sneezing. Like with Tiervaya, I think they reported 82% of the people that used Tiervaya had sneezing, but luckily it wasn't uncontrollable for hours sneezing. It was just for the first few minutes after I used Tiervaya, or maybe the first couple of minutes. Like for me, that's usually what happened with me. Maybe the first minute I sneezed and then I was fine. And like I said, with the i tier 100, yeah, I would sneeze quite a bit when I'd actually use it, but afterwards it would stop. I, I was good. Now with the i tier 100, there were a small percentage of people that reported being light sensitive or triggering a migraine after they used it. And then with tier via, there were some small percentage of people that had irritation in their throat, maybe nasal irritation or a cough if they actually, actually inhaled the spray. But that all got better once they kind of figured out how to use the spray and they got used to it a little bit. Now for the big question, how well do these treatments work? How do they compare to each other? Now, in my opinion, they both worked on me, meaning when I used Tiravaya, I actually showed improvement in my baseline tears. It showed improvement in my symptoms of dry eyes, as well as the eye tier 100. Definitely showed improvement of my baseline tears and symptoms. Now, this is my personal opinion. I do think I had better results with the eye tier 100. I feel like I could control it better. I feel like I could move and target it a little bit better. I also feel like I had more of a reaction with the eye tier 100. I teared more. I felt like that my baseline tears improved a little bit better. And also I liked the idea of having some external mechanical stimulation rather than a chemical or a medicine that I'm putting in my nose. Even though there weren't really any side effects, it just felt better to me to have a mechanical stimulation on the outside of my nose. And I felt like it actually worked a little bit better for me. Now, a lot of people are reporting that Tier Via has been working better for them, but I think it's gonna depend on the person. Now, another thing to consider is these two treatments could possibly be used in conjunction with each other. Maybe a morning and night type of treatment with Tier Via, and during the day, maybe if you're using the computer during the day, you need a little bit pick me up in your tears and you don't wanna use eye drops, you could bring your device, your eye tear device, and get your tears flowing that way.
Now I will be getting my hands on the next generation of the iTier device, so I'll definitely be doing a review video on that, showing the upgrades and the functionality, the improvements that they made, and so definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. Now I just glossed over what neurostimulation actually does, but I did go over it in more detail in a video right there if you wanna check that out. Now in that video, I tested neurostimulation out with a vibrating toothbrush. Now both of these, work way better than the toothbrush. You can target it a little bit better and I had actually better results. My symptoms improved better with both of these. So these are definitely recommended where the toothbrush is not. I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy. Stay focused.